Hello viewers, this is Harold Linnea. Welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. We just finished completing all the errands and bounties that became available when we recruited Tengri. So we're going to get started on finding those three orbs. The three magical stones. The first one is up here. This is Shipwreck Shore, the Vault of Tears. This place was closed earlier when we explored, but now it seems to be open. The Cursed Crypt of the Cobra King. Gah, where have we ended up this time? I've known prisons that looked more inviting. Another damp old ruin, is it? Knickers. My lantern's going to end up covered in mold. Caked, I tell you. Does that lantern really go moldy? Uh, you know, that's not really important right now. You're not wrong there, Ollie boy. It looks like we've found the place we're after. One of the magic stones should be hidden somewhere in here. Yep. So let's head down these stairs. I'm not feeling any better about this place. I just wish it could be a bit less creepy. Take this for example, a statue of a snake. Who in their right mind would choose that as an ornament? A nutter, that's who. Hold on, are you saying you're scared of snakes, Swain? Uh, of course not, and what is it to you if I am anyway? Why do you? Oops. Hey, did anybody else just see that? The snake's eyes just glowed. Huh? Just now, the statue's eyes, they glowed. Oh, I see. Trying to be funny, are you? Well, it doesn't suit you, Oliver. Huh? Arg! Okay. <laughs> rabbit, huh? Rabbit, rabbit, what the flipping heck is going on? Rabbit, rabbit, have we turned into frogs? Rub, rub, rabbit, it's a c curse. What are we going to do? Don't make such a fuss, man. It's not like it's made us smaller or anything. Speak for yourself. That's what I said, swine. So, how are we going to turn back to normal? Ribbit, ribbit. Huh? What's that? Oh, there's a frog. Ribbit, ribbit. It's a rainbow frog. Gosh, what a colorful frog. Ribbit, ribbit. It's hopping off. Wait up, where are you going? Was that frog cursed by the statue as well, then? better find out. Do you think it's actually a human? Someone who came here before us? Maybe it knows something about this place. Let's go after it. Sounds like a good idea, Ollie. Hop up here. 
Hold up, Polly boy. What's up, Drippy? What if a monster attacks us? We're in no state to put up a fight, man. Well, I guess, but we have to go after that rainbow-colored frog, Mr. Drippy. Wait a minute. We might be a bit on the froggy side, but your familiars could still be okay. Have a look, will you? Gee, you're right. They seem just fine. Oh, that's good. Interesting, that. The curse only seems to affect humans, and fairies, of course. Well, let's count our blessings, shall we? At least we've got your familiars to protect us if a monster fancies frog for lunch. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hello, Snakey. We've got a Nodulisk and two Obscuroboros. Happy to have won that. And we got a strong coffee too. I I think I'm going to evolve mighty here. Give him a jumbo sun drop. can become a dynamite or a mermite. I think I will make him a dynamite. Now we've got dynamite with us. Are you out of your tiny mind? We'll get washed away, man. Let's not go that way now. We'll head to the east. And follow that rainbow-colored frog. Let's just hop along after it. We'll do further exploration later. Here to the northeast room. Looks like we have to cross some lily pads. We can swim in the water. Go through this western door here. Along this hall and up the stairs. And what's here? Hmm? I'm sure that frog came over by here. Drippy's still got that silly lantern. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, there it is. Stop, please. Ribbit? Ribbit, ribbit. Where are you going? Come on, everybody. We have to go after it. He's right. We can't let it get away. 
like how Swain's Frog says, Rob it. Anyway, let's go south. What's the circle about? Woohoo, we're back to normal. Phew, the novelty of being a frog wears off pretty quickly, eh? I know, and having to speak in that awful frog language was just so tiring. Too rare, but man, I mean too right. Heh, <laughs> looks like Drippy misses his old froggy form. Anyway, we should get back to searching for that stone. Wait, what if... I think that rainbow-colored frog was trying to lead us here. So why hasn't it, hasn't it changed back into a human like we did? Maybe it was just a normal frog all along. Hmm, I don't know, but it is curious. Well, I'm sure we'll bump into it again before long, and it... Now then, let's start looking for that stone, and it... Sure thing. Let's take a look around these ruins. First, let's open this chest here. And it contains an espresso. Let's head north back to this chamber. I see that frog. Looks like we have to use nature's tongue to talk to it. Help him, please. Help who? Seems to be pointing to the north here. Let's go this way down to a dungeon. Where are we? Crikey, this place is a bit blinking grim. Must be a prison or something. Is there someone there? Arg! Who, who's that? It's a f, -f, f flipping frog! Another one! Another one? Do you mean to say that someone else has been blighted by my curse? Uh, actually, we were cursed and turned into frogs ourselves, but we didn't look like you do. Leave now. You must leave this place. It is dangerous. Huh? B but you... Do not waste time worrying about me. Mm. What's the matter? Are you hurt? Oh, Oliver, we've got to do something. Yes, we have to help him. I guess I can use magic to get this door open. Let's give it a try. Yes. Let us use spring lock to open this door. Et voila! What are you doing? Leave me alone, I beseech you. Wait a minute, are you... are you the Frog Prince? You know who I am? But how? The Frog Prince of the Desert. That's you, isn't it? The one who left his kingdom, abandoning his princess. Hmm, how do you... What are you going on about, Esther? Are you trying to confuse us for something? Hmph, it wouldn't take much to confuse the likes of you, Swain. I'm just a bit shocked, all right? I didn't think we were going to bump into a prince from a fairy tale, did I? A fairy tale? Hmm, I see. So that is how you know of me. Now let me think. Ah, yes, I remember. All right, listen carefully. 
Once upon a time before the fathers of our fathers' fathers were born. This is going by a bit fast for me to read it. What? Why would he drink a potion that turned him into a frog? A frog doesn't stand a chance of beating a snake. I haven't finished the story yet. I told you to listen carefully, didn't I? Not ask stupid questions. Now where was I? Ah, yes. The reason he decided to turn into a frog was... To lull the serpent into a false sense of security by becoming one of its favorite foodstuffs, if I recall correctly. Ahem, yes. My apologies. Please continue. Oh dear. Hmm, she waited, you say? I see that it truly has become a fairy tale. Gee, that's a pretty sad story. Every girl in Alma Moon has told that story when they're young, and everyone cries the first time they hear it. You speak of it as if it were a work of fiction. Oh, I'm sorry, Prince Ali. Prince Ali, it has been a very long time since anyone has called me by that name. Well then, shall I tell you the final chapter of your fairy tale? The final chapter? So the prince left his princess behind and turned his back on his kingdom. The princess's name was Yasmina, by the way. She was the love of the prince's life, and yet he abandoned her. Many years passed, and the prince remained a frog, only to find to his dismay that he was unable to die. Yes, he was destined to live as a frog forever. Even after his kingdom had been razed to the ground... That's just terrible. Ha! I may have suffered, but it is nothing compared to the pain I caused my beloved Yasmina. Indeed, I feel sometimes that this is just punishment. But why are you in this cell, your highness? It is the serpent, Apep. He has returned. Someone brought him back to life. I don't think there are many people who could breathe new life into an ancient monster. Only one person we know. Yeah, I can only think of one. You mean Shadar? Apep wasted no time in taking his revenge. That is how I came to be imprisoned here. Who can say how long he intends to prolong my agony? Have I not suffered enough to remain in this form, to live without my beloved? Oliver, isn't there a spell you can cast to bring Prince Ali back to normal? 
You mean something to lift the curse that turned him into a frog? Hmm. Hang on a flipping minute, man. Why don't we use that magic circle that lifted our froggy curse? You're right. It worked for us. Maybe it would work for him. But, surely you did not consume the same shape-shifting potion that I did? Well, it wasn't a potion, no. But that's not important right now. Come on, your highness, let's give that magic circle a try. Could such magic truly reside in this temple? And what if I were to become human again? What new torments would Apep devise for me then? You mustn't think about things like that, your highness. We have to try at least. Now come with us. We'll take you straight to the magic circle. Now Prince Ali is coming with the party. Oh, there is a waystone down here. So in the next episode, we will take Prince Ali up to that magic circle and explore the rest of this temple. This is Harold Linnea. I would like to thank you for watching. I will see you again next time.